Hello there and welcome to Life and Surround. Today I'm just bringing you a quick bit of news, some rather exciting news in the surround world. It has been announced that Pink Floyd will be releasing another massive box set, kind of like their early years set, but this is called the Later Years. This is going to feature material from 1987 onward, so it's all post Roger Waters. Roger Waters will not appear in this set. And here's where I found out about it, quadraphonicquad.com, where I like to hang out. This guy Ron Toon appears to be some sort of Pink Floyd insider, or maybe a record label insider, announcing the set. And then later in the thread, it's revealed that Momentary Lapse of Reason has received an overhaul. I guess lots of people are not happy with the sterile 80s sound, and so it's rumored that Nick Mason has redone the drums, sort of like King Crimson just did with the reconstruction of light, where Pat Mastellano, I'm pretty sure I didn't say your name right, Pat, and I'm really sorry, Mastellato, uh, redid the drums from being purely electronic, probably done with a Roland V-Kit, and uh, did a blend of electronic and acoustic for the reconstruction. And I AB'd those and think that the, the redo really does a lot for the album. It livens it up, gives it more power. It's also rumored that they may be floating in some Richard Wright keyboard stuff from the live tours of that era. Now, for me, Momentary Lapse of Reason it's probably been the hardest Pink Floyd album for me to get through. In fact, I don't even remember a solid listening session where I've made it through the whole album. It kind of drags on for me, and I'm not sure what amount of re-recording can really salvage this album for me, but I'm definitely curious to give it a listen and and just see how effective these, uh, these redone parts are. So, a redone Momentary Lapse of Reason in 5.1 and Momentary Lapse of Reason in 5.1 at all is a big, big draw to me for this set and I'm sure for lots of other people. Um, this would be the first time that Momentary Lapse of Reason has received the surround treatment. Another cool thing about this set is it appears that Andy Jackson will be the surround mixing engineer. And uh, it's just my opinion that over the years um, I've appreciated Andy Jackson's surround mixes for Pink Floyd and for David Gilmour more than a certain other engineer. Uh, so to me, the prospect that these are going to be Andy Jackson surround mixes is, is very exciting. And so what's all the surround material that's slated to be included in this release. We've already talked about Momentary Lapse of Reason. Uh, there's also some talk about Pulse, the live video being reissued in this box set. There's talk about a Delicate Sound of Thunder Tour show being included, and possibly one more live show. So that is, you know, the possibility of three concerts Hopefully, if they're mixed by Jackson, they would be fairly exciting in surround. Uh, I wasn't super thrilled with the um, 5.1 redo of Pompeii. It just wasn't very aggressive, and it was only intending to recreate um, a sense of being in the live space, so, you know, an ambient mix. And the reason I object to that is that Pink Floyd themselves have have performed live in quad, so why not replicate that? But anyway, um, the other inclusions for the set would be the other albums from this time period, and that would be The Division Bell and The Endless River. Now, if you're like me, and you've already got Division Bell on DVD, or Blu-ray, if you're lucky enough to already have the Division Bell Deluxe set. Endless River on Blu-ray. 
and Pulse on DVD. Obviously this set is is redundant to some extent, to a fairly significant extent. Now, I would love the chance to upgrade Division Bell from DVD, DTS, to, to Blu-ray. Though I have to say that the DVD already sounds fantastic, and I'm just not sure how much better the Blu-ray could make it sound, but I'm open to the possibility that the Blu-ray is a sonic upgrade to go from a lossy encoding like DTS to a lossless encoding. I also wonder if Pulse will receive any sonic or uh, visual upgrades, so I'm interested in that. And then of course I'm interested in a Delicate Sound of Thunder tour show and possibly another show. So I guess my point is there's some redundancy here built in, but also the possibility of some upgrades to sound and video for what we already have. I'm fairly interested in this set. Um, it really kind of, for me, depends on the price point. This uh, insider on QQ has said that this set should be less expensive than the early years set, which would be great because that was hundreds of dollars. Thinking about the earlier set, how they broke it down into smaller subsets, like this one, Deviation. The cool thing about Deviation being that it has Adam Hart Mother in the original 1970 quad on Blu-ray. So Adam Hart Mother original quad, lossless. So I went and picked up the Deviation set because I wasn't really interested in a lot of the material from the earlier set. And I didn't want to pay hundreds of dollars. Instead, I paid tens of dollars and got Adam Hart Mother and Quad and to me that just hits the sweet spot. So it begs the question, uh, will any standalone material be carved out from this later year's box? For instance, if they issue Momentary Lapse of Reason itself on DVD or Blu-ray, that would be a huge draw for me and maybe one or two of the other shows. Uh, that would be super cool. Uh, seeing as how they broke the early years box into these subsets, as long as those all sold relatively well, maybe they have the incentive to do that again. So that's something I'm looking out for. Now this other site over here, pinkfloyds.com, Pink Floyds with a Z, says that we can expect the later year's box November of this year, November 2019. So they're poising it to be ready for Christmas, which is super smart. Furthermore, if you happen to have caught a previous Surround Sound News video that I did about animals on SACD 5.1, that hasn't come to fruition yet, but this site suggests that it's coming in 2020. And it also asks the question, will it be a standalone or part of like an immersion box set? So I'm sorry the Animals hasn't come yet. Acoustic Sounds said that it was in the pipeline. I reported the news. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm sorry. I would love to hear Animals in Surround or even just Animals in a better mastering, a better mix in any regard, stereo, quad, 5.1. I've just always found animals to be pretty dark and a little bit muddy and would love to just hear it better and I would especially love to hear it in surround, of course. So anyway, that's the news for today. Pink Floyd, later years box coming soon. Animals, either as a standalone or in a box hopefully coming someday, and uh, I'm excited about it. I look forward to see uh, what, how these releases take shape and uh, you know what my purchase point will be, whether there are some standalones offered or a big massive box. Every once in a while I get roped into a big box, but I, I really try to avoid them just because of the expense compared to the minutes of 
entertainment that I'm going to get. So sometimes I forget to uh, remind you to like this video, dislike this video, leave comments, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, just share what's on your mind, um, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share this video so we can all enjoy this together. Enjoying music with others is something that I really love. Listening to surround music can inherently be a little bit of a lonely venture, and uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be so. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for um, helping me to enjoy this hobby better. I love interacting with everyone here on this YouTube channel, on the Life and Surround Facebook page, on Life and Surround Instagram, on the Life and Surround Twitter. I really get a big kick out of it. I love hearing all of your thoughts, uh, your different opinions. It helps me to just have more perspective and just to engage with others is an enjoyable thing. So I think I've rambled on long enough. I will just remind you, until next time, to live life in surround.